What's up, YouTube? Capital G. Uh, today, I want to talk about a subject that I found uh, uh, very interesting. It might be a little touchy, so I have to watch how you know I, I discuss this. But anyways, you guys know I went to regionals uh, last week or um, last weekend. And one of the most interesting things that I found as they were calling the people who, who made top eight up, you know, deciding on if we wanted to play top eight, if we wanted to do die roll or whatever, was that um, a player made it through top eight uh, and he was mentally handicapped. And I was astonished because, you know, this is a game where a lot of players who, you know, a lot of the younger players who can't fully grasp the competitive concepts and, you know, advanced strategies like card advantage and uh, player position and stuff like that don't generally do well. So uh, I was quite amazed that this guy not only did well, but he was, you know, able to beat out almost you know, 300 players, I think we had 279 or whatever at the regional, and make that top cut. Now, I mean, uh, regionals, YCS, they're a lot like the NCAA basketball tournament. You don't have to beat the best players. You just have to beat the people in front of you. Some people have easy routes. Some people have hard routes. And I know for a fact that he beat two very good players, one who I also beat who has, you know, like, I think he has four or five, maybe six regional tops. And he beat a player with, like, 20 regional tops who also top nationals and it's just a very good player. Now, I think that he didn't luck sack, you know, with insectors, you're going to luck sack a couple of games. Sometimes you just open Heavy Storm, Hornet, Dragonfly, uh, Zex Caliber, and it's like, well, if you don't have Infect Veiler, I'm about to fuck you up. You know what I mean? He probably opened some games like that, but I also think that Insectus is one of those decks where you can, you can basically play over-aggressive, and it can... It can basically confuse your opponent. Like your opponent might not be expecting you to make those over aggressive plays. And why those can put you in a bad position if your opponent has something like Torrential Tribute or, you know, something like that. It can also just win you games because the deck has that offensive potency to do that. You know, I think that maybe there were some games where his opponent set three and said go. And he was just like, fuck it, I'm going in. Summon Dragonfly, you know, equip Hornet. Okay, well, you have bluffs. That's too bad for you because I'm going in. You know what I mean? And um, I think that people probably looked, they were probably just shocked that he would make that play. But, you know, it worked out for him. So I want to know if you guys think, oh, he, it was because he had an autopilot deck. And I'm not really sure what his um, mental deficiency was. I, I didn't talk to him, but um, I did confirm it with people he played against. I confirmed it with other players who you know, um, knew him and it could be like a, just a slight mental disability or so, but you know, he seemed like kind of a regular guy, but there, there was that mental handicap there. And, um, I want to know if you guys think it's vindication of the format or, you know, if you think that it's just, uh, astonishing like me that he was able to get so far. And, you know, if I see him again, I'll congratulate him because hell, I mean, it's when you have, it's hard to top regional, let alone, a nine person regional so you know i clap for the guy but let me know what you guys think and uh yeah what your opinions are